So today I'm gonna walk you through my painting process. First off, I search for a reference. I usually go on Pinterest for this step. You can choose any reference you wanna paint. So the next step is of course sketching. So here I'm just trying to capture the likeness of the reference and I'm using a pencil which is probably HB I'm not sure. So you can use any pencil or any other instrument you want to use what whatever thing. So yeah, I'm just trying to draw here you can see I've just sped up the video it's probably on 4x so yeah it, it would take much longer for me to draw this in real time and So I have finished sketching so the next thing I'm gonna do is just add in some colors so I'll use watercolor here so you can see I'm just painting the background blue you can use any color I just want it to be blue as you can see I'm just adding in my yellows wherever the light would fall as the scene is of a beach or something and the lightning is warm so the light parts are going to be yellow just adding in the base colors for all the subjects present here like I'm just adding a very light layer because with watercolors you need to build up colors so you have to be very light in the starting So this is now dry so we're gonna add in the stripes I want to add and this was kind of tricky but you'll do it if you'll just look at the reference properly I just try to follow all the lines in the reference and use my big brain and it, it is kind of confusing because the fabric is turning so you have to figure out whether the lines are gonna be straight or curved whatever As you have noticed that I'm adding in purples wherever the shadow is going to be 
so that's what i usually do with watercolors i just add in purple and i i don't really like adding blacks or browns wherever the shadow is because it makes the painting very desaturated and dead i don't know <laughs> so yeah it's better to add purple because it brings more vibrance At this point, I'm just trying to render everything. I'm just trying to add the details and make things as dark as I could. And this is the point where you use really saturated colors and really dark colors also. So I'm just trying to build up the background also a little. The painting is almost done but right now I really wanna add in some background so I'm just going with this brown color for it to look like she is actually on a beach and you can also see I'm not add I haven't added any kind of line art so I'm just going over with a purple very dark purple color to be the line art because black I don't usually opt for black colors in my pieces because black makes your piece more I don't know I don't like it the way it looks I really messed up the flowers here because this I thought I had a vision but I was going nowhere I don't know what I was doing it it got a little too dark and then it, it didn't look like a flower it was just looking like some paint blobs on the paper so yeah I tried to fix it I don't know I wasn't able to draw a flower here it was something <laughs> if you look at it it is really something <laughs> 